Okay, we're going. Hey guys, uh, what we've got here is a Whirlpool Duet Sport. Uh, it's a front load washing machine. Uh, the front loaders work pretty well as opposed to the top loaders, but I find that there's two problems with these particular washers and I've ran into the, both the problems several times, so I figured I would throw up a video maybe to help somebody in the future. Um, I actually acquired this washer myself from somebody that was giving it away because they thought there was major issues with it. Uh, and doing a little research and taking it apart, I found that it's a pretty simple fix. Uh, one of two things can happen with this particular washer. Uh, one, if you have small kids with little socks or small apparel at all, what happens is one thing, um, the way that the washing machine works is it sucks the water through and it spits it back up into the top housing here where you put your detergent. And with a small sock um, or a small garment of any kind, it basically can go through the hose and it, it clogs it up so basically the water can't actually circulate through the bottom and then come up through the top and wash through the, the liquid detergent. Therefore, it basically just spills out the top here. So. Um, there's, you can basically just pull this drawer out here, uh, let me see here, there's a button right here, black button, you pull this drawer out here, and you'll see in the front of the washing machine, check right here Max, there, there's a screw there, and, and then this whole assembly will come out and there's a hose down there, and you just basically take a, uh, a coat hanger that's been straightened, and put a little hook on it, and you fish it down there, and you basically fish the sock out, that's the one problem, um, that, happened to me once I fixed it. Now the more common problem with this particular washing machine is what I'm actually going to find right now. Uh, we have pets that have a lot of dog hair and, and kids that don't take things out of their pockets like pencils and, and wrappers and stuff like that and basically it clogs the drain and what happens when that ha when it when the drain is clogged is the washing machine will the door will lock and it won't allow you to get in it and in the front here, it'll actually throw a code saying F-21. I'm going to plug it in and see if it'll throw the code so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if it will because it basically resets when I plug it in. But let me see here. See the water everywhere is right there? Whoa. Shine that right on there. That's because the drain has nowhere to go. Let me grab a towel and get this. Yeah, it's all over. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So. Alright. Now, now that you've seen what it does, I'm going to actually show you how to fix it. It doesn't take too long to do. Uh, I'll pause the video and I'll get the washer in the position that I'm going to need to take this front cover off. Basically what I'm going to do is pull the washing machine out, I'll unplug it from power, uh, I'll shut the water valves off both hot and cold and then I, I'll remove, there's like three or four screws right here in the front, they're easy to get to and I'll show you those in a minute. Go ahead and pause it. Okay so as you can see I've turned the uh, water off, I've unplugged the washer, I've pulled it out tilted it back. Um, I've tilted it back just enough to put something on there. In this case it's a, a tackle box just to hold it up. Uh, coming down here I'll show you the screws that you actually have to remove. So you've got one screw there. You've got one there that I've taken out. And you've got one there. Right, I'll take them off real quick. And that will drop down. 
and then there's your access panel and basically inside here you can see it's pretty marred up because I've had it apart before um, this basically is where your your water drains through and it filters through here and it gets sucked back up in there so now we'll pull this cover off and we'll see what we've got in here with any luck it'll just be plugged and that'll be my issue I just take a pair of pliers whatever you've got I actually got two pairs of pliers here here's another pair one big pair or two small pairs and basically just unscrew it it's got a uh, rubber gasket in there so it's actually going to unscrew pretty hard Water. A little bit of water is going to drain. Not a big deal because you've got it so far backwards. Shine that in here, Max. I'm shining. Actually, it's kind of covering it. Look at that. Look how dirty that is. It stinks. It's dirty. And there's a reason why, and you'll see right about now. Hey. It smells like urine. Look at ah. that. You see that right there? That's horrible. makes quite a water mess but you see that's a filter right there see the holes and there's no way the water can get through there if that's clogging it up ew ew but yes it's a it's a fix so Point dad that. it's going shining up so, Quiet, yeah. okay. What? Oh, okay so now that uh now that i've got it all apart i've showed you what to do i basically am going to clean the mess up Put that filter back in there, put the washing machine back, and that should take care of the problem.